and I swim for energy standards. We've had lots of meetings, lots of discussions, lots of information um, and I think most of the stuff we've been talking about is quite new to most of us. All of us have just kind of gone through our career not really thinking about anything other than just training and racing and you know swimmers don't think about swimming for money that's not why we do it we swim for the love of it um, but like just being able to compete regularly against some of the best people in the world giving ourselves more opportunity to race and it's been really interesting the past few days we've had a lot of discussions about the ISL and what that could potentially be and what that could bring to swimming and to us as athletes um, and yeah it's just something quite different definitely for me lots of new information learning lots of different things yeah I think it wants to bring so something different to swimming make it more entertaining um, make it a really exciting spectator sport make it like a show almost but still keeping the integrity of swimming because it's a great sport and it's got a lot of really loyal fans and we want to keep those people entertained but we also want to try and encourage more people to follow swimming and follow us and just promote swimming as a whole but maybe get the athletes to promote their images a little bit more as well and get us racing more often um, I think also they want to try and create more of like a team atmosphere and a team environment rather than focusing on individuals and like whether you did a personal best time or whether you won gold it's more like a collective effort and yeah like you see a lot I think out in the states with uh, dual meets and NC2As and things like that we don't really have that kind of thing for anyone else or not that I'm aware of um, and having swam with energy standards for almost two years now we've definitely got a really great team atmosphere so I think it's quite exciting that possibility of other teams like Energy Standard where we can compete against each other and have more of like a team rivalry. Yeah, like swimming is known as an Olympic sport and that's like the pinnacle for us and it is quite tough because you get one opportunity at the trials to qualify for that and that's once every four years um, and yeah, if you miss out on that time then you have to try and wait another four years for that opportunity and I think Really, the Olympics is still always going to be so special for swimming, but it's not to say that we couldn't have other opportunities to race internationally against some of the best people in the world. I think it has the potential to do that. I'm probably one of the more senior members um, or senior swimmers in age-wise. I know there's like such a wealth of experience and um, some great older and younger swimmers here this weekend. Um, but yeah, I think for me, the thought of being able to compete. I know you can never compare swimming to football because it's just not on the same league, but you see a lot of the time some footballers will retire from their international duties, but they'll carry on playing for their clubs. Um, and I know for them that's probably to do with a salary, but I think if you're focusing more on racing rather than times, a league like this could prolong your career. Um, it'll be interesting because for me it'll be the first time that I would do that kind of format. Normally you take a little bit of a break after the World Championships. Um, but yeah, I, I, I guess I'll find out um, hopefully if I get to do it. Um, but I'm quite excited because for me, I've been swimming for quite a long time and it's just always good to have something new and something exciting, something different. It keeps swimming interesting and it keeps me want to keep going for longer because there's new challenges.